Okay, let's go ahead and open up a few photos. I'm assuming that you know how to open up a, fi a file or a folder. So you will go to your launch Photoshop and you will go to File and Open. And right now we are going to work on a little collage. It's going to look similar to this one right here. If you'll notice, when I click on the image, they're usually JPEGs, and I will see a little thumbnail down here. I can also use my arrow keys on my keyboard to toggle between each individual photo. You'll notice it gives you a little pop-up that gives you the dimensions of the photo, when the photo was taken, what kind of camera you are using, what type of file it is, which this, these are all JPEGs, and the size of the file. So that kind of gives you an overview of the different attributes that each individual image has. Now, you can also open more than one file up at a time in Photoshop. So if I wanted to open up all four at the same time, I will left click on my mouse, click and drag over the four that I want to open. It will highlight them, and then I just click on open. And now they should place kind of on top of each other. So, if you click on the top bar of each individual photo, you can click and drag and move them around. You'll see that the one that is active is highlighted all the way around. If I click on this back one here, that comes to the forefront, and that will be the one that you're working on. Another cool thing that I like to do is I like to go to Window, Arrange, and Tile Horizontally. This will give you all four photos in visual view. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work with various tools, mainly the marquee, the move, and possibly the transform tool. But let's talk a little bit about the zoom tool first. We've got the set of tools which are on the left hand side, and they should be long and skinny. And you can move this around by clicking on the very top and moving it, clicking it, dragging it, and releasing it. Very bottom of your tool bar is the zoom tool. You will also notice when you go over the top or you hover over the top of each individual tool, it will tell you what the name of that tool is. So if you forget the names of the tools, all you have to do is hover over them and it will give you the exact name of that tool. It will also give you a short key command which is in parentheses. So if you notice on the zoom tool it gives a Z for the quick key command. So if I hit the Z on my toolbar or on my keyboard it will go ahead and toggle to that zoom tool. Now once I come out to my palette I notice that this bottom right hand corner photo is the one that is active. You will notice a little plus with the zoom tool icon. I'm going to click a couple times and you'll see how it zooms in. If I wanted to zoom back out, I'll hold down the Alt key on the PC, which is the Option key on the Mac, and then I get my negative sign. So I can toggle between zooming in and zooming out by just holding down that Alt or Option key on the Mac and zooming back out. Another way you can zoom in is taking the zoom tool and clicking and dragging around the area that you want to zoom into. So I can zoom in really, really close to the eye if I needed to. And again, if I double click on the hand tool, which is the one right above the zoom tool, that will give it to me in full view. So let's just say you're kind of moving right along and you kind of get too close and too zoomed in and don't know where you're at. Look at this, it says 964%. Uh, I can just double click on the hand tool and that will pull me back into view. So if you ever, you know, get too, too close to something and you don't even know what percentage you're at, 
just double click on the hand tool and that will bring you back out. I'm going to go ahead and go arrange tile horizontally again. Another tool that you can use that is also similar to the zoom tool is called the navigator tool. You can go to window navigator and on the right hand side you will have a little screen that is kind of like a small thumbnail version of your screen. Right now I've got a red triangle or rectangle or square however you have it set up and I can take that I got my hand tool and I'm moving it around now I'm using this navigator tool and it's working with this image right here so if I wanted to zoom in closer you'll notice you've got the little slider down here if you zoom in you're going to the right and if you zoom back out you're going to the left. It's a very cool way of zooming in and zooming out. Again you'll notice the percentage right here in the left hand corner of this navigator tool and you'll also notice it in the left hand corner of this image here. Again I'm going to go to arrange and tile horizontally. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these images and put them into one file, one photo. I'm going to start out with getting a blank sheet of paper. So I'm going to go to File and New. I'm going to go with Resolution of 300 and we will talk a lot about resolution and why it's so important. I'm going to go with a 12 by 12 and again we'll talk more about this later and then I'm going to start pulling in these pictures and just dragging them and dropping them into this plain sheet of paper so I'm going to make this top left hand one active I am going to go to get my marquee tool which is the second one from the top there it's the rectangle marquee tool I'm going to box around this image. Now notice that I could make it a rectangle or long ways or tall. But let's say I want a square, a perfect square. If I hold down the shift key and I create a rectangle, it will give me a perfect square. So holding down the shift key will create a perfect square. Next, I want to take this, I want to drag it and drop it into my blank sheet of paper. So I'm going to go get my Move tool, which is right above the Rectangle Marquee tool, the Move tool, and I'm going to click and drag it and drop it. Now I'm going to move it into place, and I'm going to close out of this one. Next, I'm going to go to my next one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get my rectangle, hold down the shift key, box around the area I want to select. I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to go inside the area. You'll get a little scissors. Click it and don't drop it until you notice that it is, hi this, uh, is highlighted. And then I'm going to close that one out by going to the upper right hand corner and then I'm going to go to my next one I'm going to get my rectangle marquee tool hold down the shift key click and drag move this out of the way here so I can see I'm going to get my move tool I've got my little scissors I click and drag and notice how this highlights in a black border I drop it once I see that black border I go back here delete it or to close it out and now I've got my fourth picture